let's uh let's talk about this pile of cards, shall we? First of all, if you're not informed, tonight is a uh, wolf moon. At least, uh, I, I don't know if that's true for the southern hemisphere, but for the northern, I, I guess it's for Earth, right? It's, there's no no southern or northern when it's talking about the moon for the most part. So uh, well, I guess it does matter because it's a full moon. That's not the same case in the southern hemisphere. Whatever. It's a wolf moon tonight, and so we're going to be playing some wolves, obviously. Uh, we don't have very many wolves, though, but we're going to give a nod here to us, particular cards front and center. But we'll talk about that card later. We're going to be playing this little pile. It's called Thragfire, for those that are not aware. And we made a few upgrades that were suggested last time. I originally said this list would be not something that we optimize. And here we are again. I want a 5-0. I have this hunger to 5-0 with some stupid list today. Not, not necessarily that it will happen today, but maybe in the first month or two, we'll get some weird pile to go 5-0. And that's that's what we're working towards. Anyway, the big changes here are one pillage out, one acid moss out, two fire artisans out. That gave me four slots to put the blood moons in there. And I took one bridge out and put Huntmaster of the Fells front and center. Why? I don't know. Why not? So the idea of this list is either to beat them down, lock them out with Blood Moons and Bridges, or get the Thrag, Fire, Thrag Tusk and World Fire combination here. You can also do it with a Chandra Awakened Inferno uptick, and then cast your World Fire. One thing that we've um, tried before is trying to do something with Jaya, but we're not going to do that today. Relics have been removed, Endurance has been added to the sideboard, and Rabble Masters were added along with an Anger of the Gods instead of having a third bridge. The ideas were kind of basically mid-range to some degree. Lightning Bolt or Ramp Out Arbel of Utopia Sprawl to get to the three slot, and then work our way up to these big, big spells. And that's all we're saying about this. Let's go play some modern magic. We played a little bit of the vintage cube thing off stream, and um, well, that was interesting. I uh, mind what mind twist someone for six turn two. It was good stuff. It was good stuff. Anyway, let's get things up rolling here. Not a whole lot to say about this list. This list wants to run into. Something. Mono Red and Vintage Cube is good. I haven't even tried Mono Red. I just, I ended up getting, I think it was three Moxes and a Black Lotus and had already gotten a few Black cards. And then I also had Soul Ring and then I had like Ulamog, Ashen Rider and a few, uh, I got Archon and a few reanimation spells and was just like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. It worked out. We got our play points back. That, that's the important thing. <laughs> that's the important thing. <clears throat> and then this week on YouTube, we'll be getting the... Uh, we'll get the, I guess, Azusa list up there, if it hasn't already. I think that already... I don't, I don't... I don't pay attention much to YouTube anymore in terms of the order of things going up. They just go up. I think Oops All Chandra's is coming out this week. I don't have a lot of time to do YouTube exclusives anymore. So they're pretty much stream replays. So if you're here watching live, if you just want to like send a replay to your friends, you can do it through YouTube. It's kind of like an archival of our time here on the stream. While we're talking about things like that, Extra Life, I've messaged four artists this year. Zero have gotten back to me. We'll see how that goes. <coughs> wow. Long, long wait time here. Wow. My phone's just going off. Brown Trout's our first opponent. Playing with Kaya. Orzov Syndicate. <laughs> one lander with a bunch of threes and four drops. It's uh, not going to sit well with us. We're going to mulligan this one away. We got a Luris opponent. Um, we can work with this. We're going to keep this, get rid of one pillage. 
It's a little bit risky here because we can't really cast this second pillage. But maybe they're just hammer time and we'll be fine. And we'll hopefully cast bridge on turn two with very little in my hand, hopefully. Ink Moth, Spring Leaf Drum, two things here. Not a whole lot else. We'll play Arbor Elf past turn. We do have an okay matchup against this, this one here. I'm, I'm really hoping that they don't have, you know, Sigarda's Aid to uh, two hammers. You could die on turn two here. Well, that doesn't look like Sigarda's Aid. Two white. Pure Steel Paladin. Play a hammer, draw a card, attach a hammer. I um, I guess I get to play Bridge. So they have to do all of this at like sorcery speed. And I can like be safe because <laughs> they can't equip the big, the big hammer at instant speed, I guess. I guess that's our play here, even though I'd love to put Blood Boon. We got we got a bridge first, obviously. Leaves Pure Steel Paladin around. Pure Steel Paladin can attack me for right now. We're uh, gonna need some help to kill that one or defend with the Arbor Elf. The other thing is they move this over and hit for three. I go to six right now. Oh, four years. Zale, four years. That's a long time, Zale. All right, they opt to just attack me for one infect here. I like that instead of pure steel paladin coming in. Like it, like it, like it. That's a long time, Zale. I don't think we all appreciate how truly long that is. Let's play Blood Moon past the turn, turn off the Ink Moth. Go ahead, opponent. Day one, yeah. What's funny is over four years, in terms of you keeping up with it, you're only you're only like 14, 15 days, quote, behind. And I say behind kind of super loosely, obviously. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, isn't it? You didn't know about Twitch four years ago? I'm I'm part of the crowd that migrated over from <laughs> a previous system. Does that make me old? All right, how do we empty this hand? We can't, all right. Well, we tried. Hits for seven, or three, sorry. I'm down I'm down to six, not seven. What am I talking about? All right, Arbor Elf's not the worst here. Can't really follow it with anything, but at least I have some blockers. Justin TV, you miss your old account? I think I like took a few months to transfer over, but on the whole, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Just a swing with everything. You got it, opponent. Can I even can I even do this? I'm going to block the Esper Sentinel here and take this damage, trying to keep Arbor Elf alive to do something with. Okay, we got a forest. Unfortunately, that means I have to go blocking here. I don't think I'm going to get I'm going to I'm not going to get everything out of my hand here, unfortunately. They're going to just beat me down. I'm so mean. This doesn't even do it, does it? because I can't pillage away either. Pillage here. This is just destroy target land. My opponent didn't really play anything for most of that game for what it is worth. All right, let's get the chalices and angers in. Hmm, Waken Inferno is really hard to get off. I mean, most of what I have is good. We just got kind of a bad starting hand. This is unfortunately not a world fire matchup. Although it could be hilarious. Let's keep one in. 
I'm always the optimistic here. Optimistic to make it work. I saw the list, Bunny. I just felt you figured you, you you could you could decide to do your spicy special flavored cards whenever you want. What's up, Last God? Oh gosh, the one lander. Obviously, we can't keep this. Okay. Keep, get rid of world fire here. Forest Arbor Elf, Season Pyromancer, see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. Maybe get this Huntmaster down. Huntmaster flipping's kind of interesting, right? Opponent wants to play multiple spells, then we flip and shoot something. It's kind of the kind of the weird, weird stuff. We're probably not gonna be doing that because we'll be getting more than likely some cards here for Season Pyromancer and we'll pitch these, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, here we go again. Ornithopter Memni. Here's a silent clearing. White mana. Springleaf drum. Do we have a follow up here? Cigar to aid. Hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Blood Moon, come on. <laughs> oh, two lands. Do ah, mm, ah, mm, ugh. We're getting a steam or a uh, stomping ground. We're shocking in. Uh, I think I want to anger the gods here. It kind of sucks because I lose my Arbor Elf, but my opponent having no creatures is probably a lot better for us, especially since they played a Springleaf Drum. If they played like Hammer out here and got like Colossal or pure steel paladin i'd feel bad but now i feel okay seal cleansing's fine okay we'll just pass turn unfortunately not hitting our third land third land would have been able to kill that which would be nice they don't have a creature here to put out okay they get they get one because of the planes and they're choosing to do this i'm gonna go ahead and miss lands I still think it was the correct play to go ahead and anger the board, but now we're just going to have a, a pretty big saga token. And I assume Pure Steel Paladin's showing up with Bridge being taken out by Seal of Cleansing. It's not a good start tonight, but we haven't won, I think, a match one this entire year. So that's appropriate. Although they're, they're doing this. Probably going to season Pyromancer first. Got to create some blockers. I hope they don't go get Shadow Spear. If they could go get another hammer, I think I'd feel better. <laughs> Ugh. Now I can't chump block. That's rough. Go ahead. Attack. 5, 12, go. Pass. Miss land, I lose. <laughs> Simple. Well, we didn't know they had a planes. All right. Yeah. All right, not a good start. Kind of light on the lands. I feel like the shuffler is against us this year. I mean, they had the land drop still to start that turn. Yeah, they just decided to do that because they were going to get a lot of, um, they had a lot of artifacts in play. I thought you were making reference to me angering away my Arbor Elf and not being able to cast things where if I would have held on to Arbor Elf, I could have used that to blow up the hammer that showed up. Yeah, bunny. It's, this is how you do fast leagues where you burn play points and tickets. You play World Fire in Modern. You do this, and you just watch them flame up. All right, I'm going to keep a hand like this, and we're going to just risk the one lander. The game has decided that that's all I'm allowed to have, and as such, we're going to just take it. 
we'll just hold this one land um, <clears throat> six drop, five drop, nine drop. Well, get to do this. I'll make green on tap. And we'll make now red. And I really hope they don't kill this Arbor Elf. <laughs> if they don't kill it, at least I can do Chandra Awakened Inferno next turn. If they kill it, we're in trouble. Oh, they shocked in. That's not a good sign. Cycle something, please. That works. All right, we're against Mill. I'm good with this. We got Blood Moons. We got Awakened Infernos. We, we got things to, to win against our opponent. Again, as long as they don't... I mean, if they go ahead and kill this now, I can play a Blood Moon, which is cool. Nice. Okay, let's see where this game goes. So they end up killing that. I, the rare, rare that they play Force of Negation. So Blood Moon to lock them out of lands. I have double green here, so any land here is a Acid Moss. I want to kill this. That's not that's not one of those. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna pass. Who needs bridge in play? Bridge is a silly card. Please don't cycle. Visions, but that's probably the best cycle. I was I was scared of this one. Another island. The opponent's playing perfectly. <laughs> we have really expensive spells. Six cards. They hit a world fire and a thrag dusk. <laughs> Hey, try to mill me with Tasha's. Go for it. You got it, opponent. All right. Let's blow up a, a, a snow-covered plane, or a snow-covered island here. Um, Take a stomping ground. Please, no archive trap. None. Nice. We have such expensive cards. Tasha's is just hilarious. Whoa, crab's here. Crab is in the building. Uh, one, two, three, four, Acid Moss, the other one. We were pretty safe last time. Let's go get another Stomping Ground, Arbor. We're two turns. We're two turns from doing it. Thrag Tusk can play next, and then World Fire for the win. Let's make it happen. Oh, snap. Oh, Ms. Miracorb. Well, you don't see that every day. All right. Yield, yield, yield. Do your thing, opponent. One, two, three, four, five... If I do four, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do Thrag Tusk into World Fire. Right? We untap, blah blah, Chandra, down tick, crab, make sure we don't mill anymore. Pass the turn, attempt world fire next turn. Here we go. <laughs> At this point, it doesn't matter for the rest of the league. If we're able to do this, please don't concede yet, opponent. Please, 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 please. Hold with me. Hold. No. No. They robbed me. They robbed me of my fun. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're milling those to draw. Oh, and we were going to see Huntmaster too. They robbed us. I can't believe it. All right. Well, we're, we're sort of prepared for this matchup. Bridges out. Uh, ironically, pillage would be decent here. Let's just slap all this in here. Hmm. I don't think I need the acid mosses in this game. Awaken Inferno is probably too slow. Cute, but too slow. The endurances are going to be really good, and Boyle's going to be hilarious. Let's cut one world fire. No, Tasha's. If they keep Tasha's. I got them. Not gonna cut Hot Master. Why would you do that? Let's cut. Man. Man. Boil, Blood Moon. Let's do a Singleton. Boil and a Singleton Chandra Torch of Defiance. I don't know what to do. They've ruined our fun. We were about to combo kill them. It was gonna be amazing. Well, this is pretty good. Keep. Let's see how fast this Rabble Master kills him. Shelldock for the beginnings of my opponent's turn. 
We're gonna play Forest, Stumping Ground, Arbor Elf, something like that. We can make a lot of mana next turn. I am going to avoid fetching if I can. All right, Rabble Master does feel like a good chance here. My opponent, though, is playing in such a fashion that I am I'm kind of scared. Kind of scared. Let's go ahead and make red here, or attempt to. And let's um, let's play a season pyromancer first. This opens drown the lock later, for the rabble master. Playing perfectly apparently. Swamp for our opponent. Fatal push, Drown the Lock, Fractured Sanity. All right. Well, Rabble Master and a Blood Moon hit the bin. Season Pyromancer is down there as well. Polluted Delta for our opponent. He passes the turn to us. Let's try Rabble Master here. Assuming Drown the Lock will happen, and we'll go ahead and combat attack. Attempt to go to combat. They should kill it now. They they floated for Drown the Lock. Maybe they have a Fatal Push they want to use here instead. Another Black Source. Really wants to play that Luris later in the game. We'll attack with just Season Pyromancer. This allows us to get flashback Season Pyromancer tokens from the graveyard. Not a terrible idea. Boyle looking really bad right now. I'm glad I cut one of them. We usually have a few watery graves or islands by this point, but this opponent's not about that. All right, some more tokens. Good for us. Hitting for four a turn, making a four turn clock. An endurance off the top would be like perfect. Not having to uh, use. Any fetches so far? Looking good, looking good. Cranks in there for five, pass turn. No crabs, no lures played, obviously. Fractured Sanity. There's a Thrag Tusk, a Chandra, Pillage. Some good stuff, but no Endurance is shown yet. Palace in the Clouds. Don't tell me, you kept top, you. Mill opponent. You saw World Fire Chandra Awakened Inferno. You kept Tasha's in. Seven cards. Hits a World Fire. They did hit one Endurance. It's a big boy. Crunching in. Drown the Lock gets this one, unfortunately. But we'll go we'll go for it. It is lethal if it resolves. It also forces the Drown Lock to use against Thrag Tusk, not against the creatures we have down here. We'll pass the turn. 31 cards left in our library. And we're just we're just attacking. Remember, we have bolts too. Dark Slick Shores tapped. I don't know how many bolts we have left, but we have bolts. <laughs> Best use. Tasha's preventing big Tasha's. Mind funeral. All right. That that milled 12. That was that was dangerous. There's a boil. A couple the rest of our endurances, by the way. We don't have any more endurances in this game. We're attacking down to one. Opponent's got two cards here. I'm not gonna obviously fetch here. We're gonna play Arbor Elf past turn. They're at one. Do they have a mill for about 18? I, I guess it's not an about, it's it's an exact number. <laughs> it's, a, it's exactly 18, which is my life total, irony. Shell docks one. I really hope this isn't a crypt incursion, just crabby. 
Island, not fetch land. Mills three. 15 to go. Archive trap is mill 13. I'll have two cards left over. Go ahead and seize and Pyromancer for good measure here. 13, go to two. And that'd be it. What's our top? Draw. Lightning Bolt. <clears throat> yeah, can burn him to the face, too. All right, we take down Mill using uh, World Fire to its unforeseen potential against the meta of Blue Black Mill. Nine drops. <laughs> it's like playing Emrakul mainboarded, except we're not that mean. It's, it's like, it's not bad. Onward we go. That worked out pretty nicely. Um, we didn't even, I guess we cut like what, an Acid Moss and a, a Chandra for something like Rabble Masters. Really, we weren't hurt too much by the Toshes, luckily. That was, that was, that was sound. That worked. Did the thing. Won the game. One and one. Thragfire. Premium tier three list here in Modern. Let's see if we can find this next opponent. Ugh. Bottom, 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 bump. Here, prediction. Before we even start this, star prediction the league results 3 2 or better. Two, three, or or worse. Sad face. I'll give everyone five minutes on that. Poll started. One and one. On the draw for match number three. There you go. Throw away your channel points. There won't be an immediate use for those later. One lander again. <laughs> oh, all the one landers. My opponent does not reveal anything either. I've got two season pyromancers. We believed in it last game. Well, 2022 will not be the year of holding on to <laughs> non one landers. All right. Well, if we happen to run into a land, we could Utopia Sprawl, Acid Moss, get to three and begin the Blood Moon season pyromancer train. I have a feeling this gets prismatic ending. Unfortunately, path is not the choice of blue-white control players anymore. So if they do that, we toast. But if they go, hey, eh, we'll counterspell the next spell. Oh, that's really bad for us. It's Esper Reanimator, I believe. This is kind of bad. They'll take the Utopia Sprawl. Now we need a land in order to even do Blood Moon. They might take the Blood Moon just as insurance here to be sure that they uh, don't get accidentally Blood Mooned out of this game. They do. Take Blood Moon. Shoot, this would be awful. Femrate and get rid of the Utopia Sprawl here is even worse. We're going to probably need some Endurances. I thought about slapping in a Torp Orb sideboard here but uh, opted for two Pithy Needles instead. Chalice on one won't be a, the worst case against the Ephemerate Grief list. Takes a Season Pyromancer, leaving us with a maximum amount of mana here. Interesting. We hit a Blood Moon, but unfortunately, we don't get to do anything with the Arbor Elf because we missed our land drop. Ephemerate here probably and grabs the, the, the Acid Moss... Season or Blood Moon. Waken Inferno will be safe here. Probably does the Blood Moon since they didn't like the first Blood Moon. This is turn three. My opponent has missed a land as well. It's the uh, year of one landers in modern. Polluted Delta. Please don't kill this. Prismatic Ending. Okay. Well, we'll continue to play this game. A 3-2 hitting us is not that bad. My opponents used quite a bit of resources in order to get to this point on turn four. So we'll uh, hang tight with them. Even though they saw Blood Moon, they're not afraid of Blood Moon, clearly. All right, there goes an Archon. 
So we have what I assume is going to be a persist. And if it is, they didn't even attack with their grief here. If it's a persist, I think we can hang it up. Well, I could draw I could draw a bridge. Hold on. Hold on. We can we can draw a bridge. Let's get rid of this drag tusk. Let me know if you want to partner up to make a promo altar sleeve for the channel subscribers. Put that. I have responded in a direct message. Go check it out. <clears throat> All right, my opponent's just kind of punching and wailing away at us with this Archon and this Grief. We're really looking for a bridge here. We are going to attempt to kill the Grief here, otherwise we are going to three. Grief killed, thank goodness. Three mana to ferry, and if this goes up, I'll concede. If it goes down, I still concede. All right. <laughs> I still concede because they bounce the Utopia Sprawl. All right. Rabble Masters and Boils in and Endurances for this matchup. Uh, Chalice is a maybe. Awaken Inferno is no go here. World Fire is a question mark. We'll cut Hunt Master because we're going to need all the power we can. Keep one in for the meme. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bunny versus the world. I guess most of the stuff that they do, the ephemerate with, the chalice can be just a bolt instead. Um, What else, what else, what else? Bolt is medium, but I mean, is it is it better than chalice? I mean, I could cut two bolts and that's our two chalices. We almost have to interact it probably. Well, it kind of sucks, too, because if they ephemerate correctly, the bolt's just a burn that gets messed up. No, no one... Well, that's because Bunny... That's because we're playing this. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Chalice. I'm gonna go Chalice for one instead of Bolt. If we respond by Bolt, it sucks. The only thing that I can think of is Bolt would be nice to kill a Teferi if it shows up. Man, all right, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. I'm not gonna learn lessons this year. This is probably why we haven't won many matches <laughs> this year. Bunny, this this is what's really happening. You haven't been here. We've put up, I think, one, three, two, and the rest have been less than that this entire year. That's how good we are. We're professional. Professional magic player of the amateur variety. Grinding out crazy games. Oh gosh, Swamp. Don't kill this. Fatal push. Elf is dead. Perfect follow-up. <laughs> yeah, we got the combo. You believe, not believe? Well, that makes sense. Well, here we go. We uh, can do nothing because of uh, the whole, uh, you know, one lander. <clears throat> These top decks, it's perfect. We got the combo. That's all you want. Blood Moon's ready for the planes here. Opponent does not need blue mana, apparently. It might have just realized they have no blue mana here for this Teferi. Okay, I have five mana. That's, that's a lot. Five mana's decent. Let's um let's try Chandra into Blood Moon. 
I'd like to get the Rabble Master down, but part of me would prefer them to use a Prismatic on the Blood Moon now instead of on good old good old Rabble Master. Uh, we have four, five, six, seven mana here. If we top deck something that makes us help with the Utopia. Man, they had the basic island too. They got everything. There's Teferi. Maybe they'll bounce Blood Moon for me. Bounce is Arbor Elf, okay. We're gonna kill that Teferi. Ooh, it's kind of rough. One, two, three, Rabble Master. Tack to Fairy for one. I'm gonna play Arbor Elf because it has the higher ceiling here. And pass the turn. We, we have a shot here. Two turns and we can thrag into world fire. I believe we have enough. There's no use for 12,000 points on the channel. What are you talking about? There's plenty of uses for that many points on this channel. Let's attack first. Attacking is always healthy. And we're not winning through Rabble Master. All right, one, two, this is three, four. Let's go ahead and slap a Utopia Sprawl down, make a little more green. Four, five. Let's go up. And Thrag Tusk can pass the turn. Now, if my opponent doesn't concede here, we have an opportunity Like, I should be happy that I won, but I'm not happy. I'm not happy. It's a six, seven, eight, nine. I don't even, I don't even emblem. I just. <laughs> I want this to work so bad. Hmm. Hmm. I'm so sad. Big brain play was not to plus Chandra so that they didn't think I was just going to do the emblem. I mean, we have lethal on the board too with a Thrag Tusk and Rabble Masters. I don't think I like this chalice. Details. I feel like I could just like bring in two pillages and with a blood moon and obviously I'll have two lands this time, we can get them. Minus Chandra on the rabble, yeah. They'd be like, what are you doing? Be like, I'm winning. <laughs> I'm uh, winning. I'm gonna bring the two bolts in. No, I'm not. I'm gonna bring the two pillages in. We're gonna blow some lands up. It's the one of world fire, by the way. We cut one. Ooh, all right. This is something. Okay, this is this is something. We can keep this slower, methodical. Please don't grief me. Thank you. We have the answer to the, the graveyard if they go like unmarked grave persist. So we have the answer. For fetching. Forest, whatever. Oh, we have we have all the answers. <laughs> the, maybe the only answer is that if I were to play this Blood Moon, I can't hard cast Endurance. But minor detail, minor detail. This is the most lands, yeah. An exorbitant amount of lands here. Teferi it has to be Teferi, right? E E on three. Ah, ah, ah. Where's my pillage? All right. I'm gonna start with the season pyromancer here, getting rid of Thrag Tusk and Chandra, and then we're gonna work the blood moons. 
the uh, Rabble Masters and the bridge into this EE on three. They're obviously doing this to protect the Blood Moon, but get a board presence here. Got the Endurance back up. Still have it. They can only take one of these. And now they see the trouble that they're possibly in. Possibly. Takes Rabble Master. Can't handle the speed. Watery Grave. Give me that pillage. They didn't like the Rabble Master. Let's go ahead and jam the Rabble Master. This is a pair of three drops that they could try to get rid of. They know what's going to show up, though. All right, token is generated. We still hit for three. I'll take it. Pass turn. You know what's there. Careful, opponent. He wouldn't want you to get hurt. They're thinking. Grief. Okay. Pitching an Umburial Rites. Steals Blood Moon. This is where we top deck Blood Moon and our opponent cries on their way to the bank. Has to take Blood Moon. Ephemerates. They're going to get to take something else. We're just going to have six through this turn. Takes one Endurance. Two cards. There's a pillage. We are losing a card here to an ephemerated grief. The question is, what do we want to lose? I probably want to go ahead and play the bridge out and just let them have the endurance. And I'm not sure I'm attacking just yet. We can use some of this to block. There's the dead cell folks collecting cores or ores or magical scores of gems and, and crystals and gold. How is it going? How goes it? What's up, Logical? It goes Endurance, number two. Thanks, Maxwell. Six months, getting the new slime ball. Chewed on it for a little bit. There's an unmarked grave. Ours is the, the oof. It's orbs. There's an Archon. Opponent's able to do this to get the Archon back. We'll sack, uh, we'll sack the Elemental. I want to make sure we have an even split of tokens. Marsh Flats here. Apple Master is not bad. My opponent can't attack me at the moment, and generating tokens and going wide is always a good idea. What's up, Violet Bunny? See, we have two bunnies now. We have a, a cute bunny and a violet bunny. Violet Bunny is doing the gecko. Oh, Fatal Pushed. That was our last card. Rude. All right, well, I guess ephemerating on our draw step kind of sucks here with the Grief, but we'll see how often that actually happens. To play a land and pass turn. We'll be flashing back that seasoned Pyromancer, or I guess using the ability. I'll just do it now. If they, if they got something, they got something. Another land. We're, we're but a Thrag Tusk and a, uh, <laughs> we're a Thrag Tusk and a, uh, <laughs> a world fire away from winning. Opponents collecting basics as they go. Please don't be Teferi. Prismatic ending's pretty awful for us, too. All right, I guess I'll take a Thrag Tusk, right? Hmm. A 
attacks with the grief here. I think I triple block to make sure they can't like kill one. Maybe I should quad block. I'm going to four. I'm but attack away from dying in the air. Top deck is not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. All right, one, two, getting closer to that cash in of two, three or worse in the predictions. We need to decide a uh, night to do rogue lights and rogue likes. That is what Evan was last streaming. I wanna, I wanna play some Dead Cells and Skull and Hades and Enter the Gungeon and whatever else is out there. It is. It is. We're, we're. I mean, we're predominantly a Magic the Gathering streamer. So as soon as I flip over to those, people will run away. They're scared of non-cardboard. It is, after all, the addiction that we all have, right? All right, we got to win this one to keep the the three two believers alive. Princess power, no lands. Let's mulligan. Okay. Keep, get rid of Thrag Tusk. Keep two nifty bolts here because my opponent is a Luris opponent. And we may have to deal with some pesky creatures. Fetch Shock, Blood Crypt, Red Mana, Ragavan. We'll start with a Stomping Ground. We'll pass the turn. Gotta pass that turn for that lightning bolt. Goes to steal something. We'll see a second lightning bolt. Give them the option of what they want to take here. Maybe they take Pillage. Maybe they're on one land. Ho ho! Takes Pillage. All right. Obviously killing Ragavan. Do you have a second land or are we going to my turn? Oop, second land's found. You got it. You got it, opponent. Steam Vents. Shock's in. We're at 12. Places. Another Ragavan in play. I'm going to just bolt this one immediately and pass turn, make it look like that's all I had. Didn't pick up the next bolts that we have. Looking for Blood Moon, looking for land for Chandra. Looking for Blood uh, Lands. That'll do. Pass the turn. So I'll take one more land for Chandra. I'll take a... Uh, Take a Blood Moon, take, what else could I take here? I mean, probably just lands is the best thing to see. I'm gonna go ahead and fetch now since my opponent got a peek at the top of the library. We're gonna go Stomping Ground, have a lot more just straight green sources if we do draw that Blood Moon. We don't draw the Blood Moon, but we're able to play Chandra. Drown, there it is, Drown. Pass turn. Do, 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 do. Watery Grave, Shock's in. 10 does not get out of range of Bolt for the Death Shadows. Three mana Luris. K command to get rid of my last card. Blood Moon. Blood Moon. No luck. Pass turn. They picked up Ragavan, by the way. Let's just fetch now. Do, 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 do. Down to 14, what do you find? 
you find hmm, Arbor Elf. Kind of glad I'm not picking. Oh, they're going to play the Arbor Elf. All right, you got it. You, you got yourself an Arbor Elf. <laughs> they they have an Arbor Elf. Seeds of Pyromance is good. Play one of those. Resolves. These are great cards in front of us. Cool. It did not kill Season Pyromancer, did not counter it. There's a Darcy in the sky. We have an Inquisition, so they're taking the bridge from us. I'm not sure which land I hit here. Maybe the Steam Vents. Probably doesn't really matter at this point. We know it's Ragavan and an unknown card in their hand. Would happily block with the Season Pyromancer. Fetches and Shocks. We have shown Bolts. I guess they don't care because we've shown three of them. They're just in the I don't care mode. <laughs> So, instead of Blue Land, just continue to ramp us. Chandra Awakened Inferno wouldn't be a bad, wouldn't be a bad top deck at this point because I could minus three and board wipe. Really, any Chandras at this point? They're at seven. It's not a whole lot going on there. Attack for three in the air, thirteen or eleven to seven. That'll work. Game five. <laughs> I like that. Oh, never mind. Getting countered. Bummer. <laughs> that was a good one, though. Game five would really shift this one around. My opponent keeps the top of the library where it's at. We'll pass the turn. I'm hoping it's not like unholy heat remove and swing for the team, but that's what it looks like it is. Yep. Yep. Got to put it on the stack. Five, six damage going to five. Top decking something from us and getting an extra land here. One card for them. Hopefully it's not good. Hopefully. Don't be like, ah, oh, yeah, play that one. Play that one. If we played that one, we would die. Awakening Inferno. Let's go. Okay, we're not dead yet. We're close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't cast a world fire off the top, unfortunately. I do have a season pyromancer that we can flash back the, the tokens. We'll do that. I guess lucky for me, I'm going to one. There's no way you have two removals, right? Uh oh. One removal. Don't have the second removal, please. I want to block your monkey. Thank you. I can't fetch now. I'm going to one. Need Awakened Inferno or something that gives me life. Let's look a little further. Land, Thrag Tusk, Bolt. Something. Dress down. It's already on the stack. Does this cancel this out now? It's going to say. That doesn't really do it, though. This just comes back and it's flying and all that good stuff. All right. Bridge could have worked. One away from the bridge. One away from the bridge. All right, team. So, pillage is out. Acid moss out. One in fire. Let's go ahead and take an arbor. You know what? Let's keep them honest. Keep the arbor. Get rid of the awakened inferno. Mm. <laughs> take a Chandra out. You should take the Hunt Master, but I'll take the Chandra. 
Yeah, if they did in response to the cast, because it had already ETB'd. The timing seemed a little, a little odd to me. All right, who's ready to blood moon themselves out of the game? Okay. I love blood mooning myself out of the game. It's a pastime of mine. Should be a pastime of yours by now, chat. <laughs> Every now and then when a person uh, plays a little slow here, they're double queued, but we double check the viewer list, just out of curiosity. You, you all have some interesting usernames. Considering there's only like four people talking, I'm talking about all of you folks. All of you non-speakers, you got some interesting names out there. All right, Arbor Elf Stomping Ground, Polluted Delta for my opponent. We're on the Steam Stomping Grounds. No basic force plan right now. Uh, I could see this getting killed by a number of things. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Thoughtseize. Okay, Thoughtseize is actually not too bad. It lets me play something else. Uh, takes Blood Moon, so this might make this really easy for me. Do I just play Bridge Down next? Maybe. What does it mean? Opponent takes Blood Moon, I draw Blood Moon. What does it mean? They did that after too. How do I feel about Fluffy Wolf? We don't talk about Fluffy Wolf. Should I play it? Man, I'm just gonna get Ragavan. It's okay. I love you too, Ragavan. Oh, we're not going to be able to play anything from here on out. I just know it. Ragavan's going to dash in. They're going to get their treasure. They're going to thought seize the bridge away. I'm never going to draw another land. Oh, we won. Sweet. Ah. It's perfect. <laughs> I don't really know why we won that one, but we won. All right. Justin.tv name, I see. My name? I mean, it's been around for a lot longer than Justin.tv. Uh, keep, go, submit. Two lands, get a Blood Moon again. But they play Darcy, they play Ragavan, they play Unholy Heats. I mean, like, you, you play that game out a little bit further, I think, than just scoop. Nice. Who needs lands? What are what are lands for, anyway? All right, we can keep this. Get rid of Thrag Tusk. We'll get to you later. All right, opponent. Bobble. Check. Land. Fetch. Shock. Blood Crypt. Thought Seize. Or Inquisition. All right, Ragavan. I was close. I nearly called all the shots. Nearly called them all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guarantee we're gonna play this season Pyromancer on turn three. All right, I, um, I don't know if I block here. Probably not. I, I probably won't get the opportunity to but really has me thinking. It's gonna really suck if this is uh 
and drown the lock and kills. It's an unholy and dragon. All right, lightning bolt, that works too. All right, gets in for two. They're gonna rip my land off the top, steal it from me. Rude. Thoughtseize, Inquisition. Whew, Rabble Master, didn't want that. Thank goodness, all right. Stomping on the ground, pass. Can a monkey and a flying human shaman beat a wall of rabbling tokens? That's the question. Croxa. By Rabble Master. We might have to play Bridge sooner than later. I would like to play Season Pyromancer next. This way I could create a blocker. Ugh, bolt. Just bolt me. Get even a trigger here. Ah, so good. Playing bridge here means they still attack for five. If this resolves, then we have blockers. Looks like it's not. We're going to two. Going to two, three mana here. Need to block this. Need to be able to play a land. Have to be able to prevent this. If they get a land, they crocs of me. I don't take damage. My best bet is they would get a top deck land play crocs of for me. And the Crocs would let me pitch a Rabble Master or a Chandra, and I'd be able to get a basic land here. Looks like they bobbled, though. Bobbled hits for five. I'm at two. I don't think I have an out. Do I? An Endurance would do it. Endurance flashed in here. Blocks Ragvan. We take one. It's not enough. Bummer. Bummer. Well, prediction, folks. Looks like we're at two, three, or worse. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to go for that two, three, but it is two, three, or worse. The losing streak continues here on the stream. Soon we'll have no one watching us. <laughs> is it is it time to play some Blood Moons next in next league? Just straight red prison. No shenanigans. But is it a 1-4 failure or a 2-3 almost there? What, the, the the match? Our next match? I mean, we're, we're going to find out together, right? I'm going to play this match and we'll find out if it's a 2-3. Let's go. Let's go. We are playing against Love My Hair. Mulligan this. We'll keep this. We'll get rid of its Lurus. We'll get rid of one Acid Moss. Wonder what version of Luris it's going to be. What do we think? Hammer? That'd be good. Oh, nope. All right, thought sees. Goodbye, bridge, probably. Hello, blowing up your lands. Maybe they take pillage. They just deal with bridge.
You know what's nice about seeing a Luris is you're not going to run into a Fury or a Solitude. Like, I think that's worth it. I can't decide. <laughs> All right, Bridge Pass. We get the Acid Moss next turn if we uh, get to keep this card in hand. And off we go, collecting our lands. I'm sure they run K Command. They can't can't cast it next turn. Darcy fetches. Goodbye, Arbor Elf. Steam vents. Bolt. Play our land, pass the turn. Opponent can't attack. Need another land to play the spells that we've got. Bobble. Puts an unholy heat to the yard. Land, tapped, not wanting to put Luris to hand. Bunch of four drops is good for us, I suppose. All right, we missed land, but I'll take the Season Pyromancer. Oh, we're not doing Season Pyromancer. Just kidding. This opponent's got it. Dress down before the Season Pyromancer hits the, the floor here. Time to dust off Primal Commands. What, like Green Devotion? There's so much Unholy Heats and Bolts and stuff flying around. It's, it's, it's difficult if that's the route we want to go. I want to kill this Black Source. That'd be great. I love it. Bobble land. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> that gets rid of the black source. It makes it a little awkward to cast the acid moss. I can cast Chandra though. Now what, opponent? Bolt, pass turn here. Not going to attack here in the fears of a monkey. The Bloodman's doing quite a bit of work here anyway. Opponents finds a swamp. Well, that didn't last very long. Thanks, Blood Moon. Ah, this will be good, though. This will be good. We can Acid Moss away the swamp here and keep them to just one color. I actually prefer to get rid of the swamp before doing anything else here because the K command is a very dangerous card. So, goodbye, swamp. Doing this as well means that this doesn't get a top deck thought seize, take my acid moss. Nope. They don't care about the nightmare kitty. <laughs> they, don't, they don't care about nightmare kitty at all. Holy heat's my season pyromancer. Cool. Uh, more green. More green's good. Pass turn. All right. Kind of sucks because an unholy heat gets rid of the Chandra. Three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Blow up another land. More green. <laughs> More green. Blow them all up. Take all their lands. Okay. Save the planet, go green. All right, still gonna keep the Thragtusk Worldfire combo in. Kind of shaved some things. 
keeping endurances, um, keeping things that blow up the small monkeys and small Darcy's. This is a terrible hand. <laughs> Who needs a world fire in their opening hand? All right, we can do this. Keep. See what we can do. Opponent mulls to five. Not a great day for everybody. No lands, mulligans. Hopefully league number two will be a little bit more interesting in terms of keeping seven cards. We'll see though. They start with a Ragavan, though. They're, they'll be fine. Oh, Thoughtseize. All right. Can I get a top deck Bolt here? If I can do a top deck Bolt, I'd be really happy. Take care of a turn two monkey. I think I got to play this so it doesn't look like I drew a Blood Moon. What if Foothills stomping ground? Windswept, then windswept or something, and play a Blood Moon. I just hope this isn't Monkey. My opponent's really upset that I've built a list to beat their list, but it's not. It's just Thragfire. <laughs> Why do we get the hate? Why do we get the hate? It's just a fun list. How should I respond? <laughs> uh, I should be like, I take it you don't know who I am, <laughs> which is kind of rude, but whatever. All right, there's a there's a Darcy. I'm not so worried about that. We'll continue to play the we didn't pick up a Blood Moon. All right, that works. A little late, but I'll take it. I'm just going to be like, it's a standard port from 2013, 2014 era. There you go. That's what it is. Oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> I don't have fury. <laughs> I'm not playing fury. I'm playing thragfire. <laughs> Watch, I'll boil them, then they'll be really upset. All right, how do we want to do this? I have four mana here. I want to get the Blood Moon down. I suppose we can, we can... Double green is like Endurance, which would be good. So I guess we'll just risk it here for the uh, Blood Moon. I guess double green is through the Arbor Elf, but they're going to pick that off, I think, so... This also gives me the opportunity to block with Arbor Elf. And then if they are able to make this bigger, the Endurance definitely shrinks it, so. I'm not gonna block this first time. We can we can race them with a Ravel here. Let's get racing. Let's get racing. We don't show the salt on this stream. They're just upset. They're just upset because they're losing the things like Blood Moon and stuff. All right, uh, Rabble Master block here feels real spicy into the Unholy Heat. Oh, no Unholy Heat. Got a need for speed. <laughs> All right, my opponent concedes. My opponent concedes. They're not too happy with us. I kind of... I kind of want to just draw until I find Thragfire, but... Uh, it's too far. If I revealed the hand now, it'd be like... Their big gripe with their list, 
I don't need to show it, but the basic gripe is every time they play, they just say they lose to kind of crappy decks. And Ponza, I wouldn't argue as a crappy deck. What's probably happening for my opponent, um, I'm guessing they're not playing Death Shadow because we didn't see it, but just, just kind of going along the lines of what, what we saw our opponent playing and how they were playing it, I, I, they're probably just keeping the wrong style of hand here for the matchup. There's a lot of like, people will play a list and forget that half of magic is like knowing that first seven and what to keep. And I know it's it's kind of kind of hard, but I mean they didn't put Vlaris to hand, and I know that wasn't going to be able to be played. But like the sequencing of the Darcy's and even just look, I mean it, it can be bad draws too. But having so many Darcy's here without a spell, and really if you have that many, you almost could like wait until turn two three on the play for Thought Sees turn two on the draw against this list. And I don't remember when they exactly played it. They took my bridge. I don't know. It's just something to consider. Like, who knows? You can it can feel unlucky. I mean, if I played Hunt Master, I think my my opponent would have just flipped the table. But we were we were trying to do Thrag Tusk and World Fire in the matchup, and I did have the endurances for blocking Darcy's and shrinking Darcy's. So we were like, I wouldn't say we were like really good against them, but Blood Moon in itself is decent against Death Shadow lists. <laughs> World Fire is the secret secret tech. Well, yeah. So, 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 let's talk about that really quick. Then I'll cut the recording for YouTube. But I used Jund as a great example. So Jund is going to be different. Zoomer Jund, Bloomer Jund, whatever Jund, Death Jund, whatever the heck it's called now. Jund will have a build that fits your feel and desires. Let's say you're a Tarmogoyf player, you like yourself a good Abrupt Decay, yeah, you're maybe playing the Lilianas and stuff like that, and you're playing Bobs. You got some Fatal Pushes and Thought Seizes as well, and you're playing against the Blood Moon list. If you're playing against a Ponza-based Blood Moon list, you may need to kill them faster, and knowing that they probably only have Bolts, it may be good to fetch that initial Forest, because it's harder for you to find a Forest that is a prominent card needing that you need in order to get like Tarmogoyce or more pressure down, maybe Bloodbraid Elf, for example. You can fetch black though, if you're playing like a Jun with maybe Death Shadow, Inquisitions, Thought Seasons and stuff like that. Both lists right now are playing Ragavans and Darcy's and stuff like that. Don't worry about fetching and having perfect mana. You fetch to open your mana up for the cards you're going to draw. Our opponent fetched cards where they could have fetched, you know, they don't have to get their blue. In fact, Grix's Death Shadow or Grix's Blurris there probably should fetch the basic swamp. Like, put a land down and then fetch the basic swamp. Then they're good. They can play like 90 probably percent of their list. If you're not doing that and you're trying to work your dress downs in there, you're working something else in there. You may, be, you may be keeping the wrong hand or you may be not thinking about the matchup in the right way. You're not thinking long-term in the matchup because you're not going to win against these strategies in game in two, three turns. You're going to win. You're going to win on turn eight because you were able to play and I was playing Blood Moons and Pillages or or I can't Lightning Bolt your Death Shadow because it's too too big. And, and so I play these irrelevant cards where you will be playing at least something progressing in the game state. Just my thoughts. You can't always crazy fetch because Blood Moon players are typically getting Blood Moon out relatively quick. But if you know you're against it, see if you can avoid it. I would think Swamp. I'd have to see their list, but I would think Swamp is what they want. Not the not the island. But there you go. World Fire Thrag Tusk. <laughs> Uh, we almost got it, and then Mill did not let us, and then the other player didn't let us either. It was a world fire the following turn. Basically got to do it twice, which is pretty cool. If you find yourself into a burn meta, uh, take out the pillages, put in some kitchen finxes. You can have a, a good old 20, what, 14, 15-ish this -ish list R -r rolling in modern with a, with a couple modern horizon two cards. <laughs> and one.